This just happened. China's Unitree G1, their flagship bot, went full exorcist mode mid-test, metal joints screaming, crashing down just inches from fleeing engineers. And the team's reaction? What the fuck did we just run? Well, guess what? It's happened before, and that's just the appetizer. Today's menu? TikTok's parent company is building robot butlers that fold your laundry. There's an exoskeleton that literally gives you superhuman legs, a drone that flies, then dives like a submarine. And oh yeah, the world's fastest humanoid just started breakdancing while outrunning Olympians. Strap in. Trust me, you'll want to see this. So China's Unitree G1 humanoid robot, suspended midair during a test, suddenly starts flailing like it's possessed. Arms whipping, legs kicking, full panic mode. The whole rig crashes down, barely missing the engineers standing nearby. The audio says it all. Oh my God, what the fuck was that? That's Amanda Watson, CTO of REK, a robot combat company, reacting to the chaos. Her colleague Six Liv, their so-called chief robot fighter, sounds just as shocked. What the fuck did you guys run? Turns out, the team was testing VR-controlled fighting robots when they screwed up big time. They activated a full-body movement algorithm while the G1 was still hanging from a crane. No ground contact, no stability. Liv later admitted it was human error, but the internet ran wild with theories. Some even called it a publicity stunt, especially after Liv posted the clip begging for virality to fund repairs. Here's the creepy part. This wasn't a one-off. Back in May, another Unitree H1 lost it in a Chinese factory, thrashing around while dangling from a crane. Engineers scrambled as it knocked over equipment like a scene from Robocop. We've also covered that in one of our previous videos. You can check it out. The bot's specs make it even wilder. 5.9 feet tall, 104 pounds, designed to backflip and dance, not to smash workspaces. Experts say these meltdowns reveal a harsh truth about humanoids. When they lose balance, their recovery attempts don't look graceful. They look violent. And it's not just that. Remember the H1 robot at a Chinese festival earlier this year? It lurched toward the crowd like a zombie before security tackled it. Was it aggression or a glitch? Nobody knows, but it's a wake-up call. These machines are powerful, but when they fail, it's spectacularly unsettling. And if the video is real, things are not looking good for Unitry Robotics. Now, shift gears to something less chaotic, but just as futuristic. ByteDance, yeah, the TikTok guys, just unveiled GR3, an AI system they're calling a robot brain. This thing lets machines understand vague, human-like commands. Tell it, clean the table, or hang the larger plate on the left, and it actually figures out what you mean. Their prototype robot, Byte Mini, shows off GR3's skills in a demo. It picks up a shirt, slides a hanger into it, and hangs it neatly on a rack. Pretty standard, right? Except here's the kicker. Byte Mini had never seen short sleeves before. All its training data used long-sleeved shirts, yet it adapted instantly. That's the magic of GR3's training mix. Massive language vision datasets, human motion tracking via VR, and real-world robot trial runs. ByteDance's seed, AI team, the group behind this, is going all in. They've posted over 15 job listings for robotics roles, hinting at a bigger push into embodied intelligence. Fancy talk for AI that controls physical machines. Co-founder Zhang Yiming, who stepped back from daily operations in 2021, is still deep in this project. Dudes flying between Singapore and Beijing just to oversee R&D. The implications are huge. GR3 isn't just pre-programmed for specific tasks. It generalizes. Show it a new object, a new room, even a vague idea like the thing on the left, and it improvises. That's how it handles a full dining table cleanup with one command. Sure, Byte Mini's still lab-bound, but imagine this tech in homes. A robot that doesn't need step-by-step -step instructions? That's the dream. Or, depending on how you feel about TikTok's algorithms, maybe the other kind of dream. Let's talk about giving your legs superpowers. Hong Kong startup Diensis just created the Z1 Knee Exoskeleton, and it's like strapping two miniature jet engines to your legs. We're talking 900 watts of combined power, 450 watts per leg, that can boost your calf and thigh strength by a whopping 50%. Here's how it works. You've got two lightweight, 1.5 pounds each, 
exoskeleton units that attach to your legs in about 15 seconds. They use torque, position, and force sensors to detect your movements with crazy precision. We're talking 0.01 second response time. The AI inside learns how you move over time, adapting to whether you're walking, running, cycling, or even doing squats. The real magic happens in the motors. They push on both your thigh and calf simultaneously, creating this perfect boost that makes you feel 44 pounds lighter. That's the equivalent of carrying around a small child, but suddenly not feeling their weight at all. For hikers, this means you could go about 15 extra miles before getting tired. Now get this, while it adds three pounds to your actual weight, the assist is so good it actually reduces knee pressure by 200%. That's game changing for anyone with joint issues. Downhill skiers will love that it can absorb up to 330 pounds of knee load. And the batteries? They last up to five hours and even recharge when you're walking downhill thanks to kinetic energy recovery. DNS-wise, founded by ex-Segway and DJI engineers, is offering three models on Kickstarter. The mid-range aluminum slash carbon fiber version is $899, while the premium titanium model goes for $1,398. Considering it could replace expensive physical therapy or let construction workers handle heavier loads safely, that's not bad for what's essentially a strength multiplier for your lower body. Now let's shift from superhuman legs to a drone that laughs at the boundaries between air and water. A team of students at Denmark's Aalborg University just built something incredible. A drone that can fly through the air one second, then dive underwater the next, all without missing a beat. The secret sauce? Variable pitch propellers. These aren't your standard drone blades. They can actually rotate their angles mid-flight to adapt to different environments. In air, they work like normal drone propellers, but when it hits water, they twist to become efficient underwater thrusters. The transition is so smooth, it puts previous attempts to shame. No clunky conversions or separate systems needed. This isn't the first air water drone ever made. Researchers at Rutgers University had a prototype back in 2015 and Chinese scientists showed one off last year. But what makes this student project special is how seamless the transition is. You can see it in their demo video. The drone takes off normally, plunges into a pool, swims around effortlessly, then rockets back out of the water to continue flying. The applications are seriously exciting. Imagine search and rescue missions where one vehicle can scan from the air, then dive to investigate underwater. Marine biologists could use it to track sea life without needing separate aerial and underwater drones. The students, Andrei Kopachi, Pavel Kovalchik, Krzysztof Siroki, and Mikolaj Zvigalo, developed it as part of their Applied Industrial Electronics Bachelor's thesis. But this could easily become commercial tech. What's really impressive is how they've solved the physics challenge. Air and water have completely different densities. By making the propellers dynamically adjustable, they've created a single system that handles both environments beautifully. It's the kind of innovation that makes you realize how much untapped potential there still is in robotics. Meet Roboterra's L7, the new speed king of humanoid robots. This 5.7 foot tall machine can sprint at nine miles per hour, making it the fastest humanoid we've seen yet. But raw speed is just part of the story. With 55 degrees of freedom and 400 nanometers of torque, the L7 pulls off impressive feats like breakdancing, 360 degree spins, and precise industrial work, all in the same package. Watch it smoothly transition from athletic moves to practical tasks, tightening bolts with power tools, sorting objects on conveyor belts, even handling delicate jobs like pulling curtains. Its 360 degree spatial awareness comes from a multi-sensor system combining panoramic vision, depth sensing, and real-time positioning. The L7 represents a breakthrough in body plus brain integration, solving the engineering challenge where complexity traditionally doubles with every four inches of added height. And don't forget its sibling, the Star One, the first humanoid skilled enough to use chopsticks, pour wine, and even make traditional toasts. Developed by Tsinghua University spin-off Roboterra, these bots showcase China's rapid advances in robotics. The L7's combination of speed, outpacing human runners, strength, 44 pounds lifting capacity, and dexterity suggest humanoids may soon be useful in both factories and homes. The swappable battery system keeps it running, though exact runtime remains undisclosed. 
From the lab to the dance floor to the assembly line, the L7 proves humanoids are becoming more capable and more entertaining than ever before. So, which of these blew your mind the most? The breakdancing speed demon? The drone that's part submarine? Or that exoskeleton that basically turns you into Captain America? Drop your hot takes in the comments. And while you're there, tell me which bot we should cover next. Smash that like button if you want more crazy robot content. Subscribe so you don't miss, and I'll see you in the next one.